My name is Eva and I'm a product manager at Metril. Today I'm going to show you how to test medical equipment using the MI3360M OmegaPad XA. This test will follow the IEC 62353 standard for periodical testing. Our tested equipment is a patient monitor. The standard requires us to look for some features. The protective class, applied parts, so the parts that come in direct contact with the patient, uh, any grounded uh, conductive parts, uh, and the type of on-off switch. So we find that uh, uh, this, uh, this monitor is protective class one. We have uh, uh, grounded the connector plate and some screws. We have 10 applied parts, uh, type CF and we have electronic on-off switch. IEC 62353 requires the applied parts that perform the same function to be connected together for the basic test. In this case, all applied parts perform the same function, the ECG, and are connected using A556 medical adapter. Additional metal pins are used in this demonstration to attach them. We are going to use one of the basic uh, auto sequences in this case, Further selection is based on the same information that the standard requires. The device protection class, type of mains button and applied parts type. Once the sequence is selected, it needs some editing. The protective earth measurement is going to be done on multiple points, so we tick this. The insulation test is only done on the supply cable, so this is OK. The equipment leakage test requires the tested unit to start up, which takes about 20 seconds, so we edit the duration. The measurement is set up, so we start the test. We inspect the device using the checklist. So first is safety related markings, uh, labels and labeling, so that they are complete and legible. We have markings here and on this side, and we tick. We check the integrity of me mechanical car parts that they are in working condition. Check. Uh, no damage or contamination or any evidence on spillage of the, on the housing. It's check. We assess the relevant accessories together with the equipment or system. So, accessories are present and complete. We check that the required documentation is available and re reflects the current revision. This is true. All fuses accessible from outside are, are complying with the data given by the manufacturer. We don't have any fuses accessible. And we finish this part of the test. Next part is the, the protective earth continuity. Uh, the instrument offers us a, a help, uh, a help screen. And so we continue and measure our first part. We confirm moving on to the next one. Next. Next. And the last one. We finish by breaking the loop. The rest of the electrical tests don't require any intervention and we just wait for them to finish. During the equipment leakage test, the device is going to start up.
there is a short delay while it, while it turns off and then it, st it starts up for the second time. Uh, final inspection is the functional inspection, in which case we generally trust our users to report any issues. So we say that the functionality is okay and the testing is finished. Now we want to save our results. Uh, the save button takes us to memory organizer and we have already prepared the structure where we want to save it. So we just use the save button and the results are saved. So this was testing of medical equipment. We kindly invite you to like, subs subscribe and comment on this video and I will see you next time.